Hi, in this video I'll explain about the magnification of an astronomical telescope. Let's look at an animation. The rays are coming in from a distant object like a star or planet. The blue and green rays are actually white rays. The colors are shown for visualization only. They form an intermediate image, the small inverted arrow, reach the eyes and they are projected backwards to form the final image at infinity, the big red arrow on the left hand side. Looking at the triangle which we are focusing here, the angle subtended by the intermediate image and the final image with the center of the eyepiece which is O is angle FOP where FP is the focal plane for the intermediate image. Now if you look at this slide it makes it clear that the final image formed by the big red arrow and the intermediate image formed by the small red arrow both of them subtend the same angle FOP at the center of the eyepiece lens, the lens on the right hand side. That's the whole purpose of this slide. So once that is clear, we have cleared the concept of angle beta, which is angle FOP. So the image is subtending an angle beta at the center of the eyepiece. Now how about the object? The object rays are coming in at an angle alpha passing through the center of the objective lens on the left hand side, the blue ray which is passing through that. Now let's draw a parallel dotted line passing through the center of the eyepiece lens. So you can see a blue dotted line that's forming the same alpha as formed at the objective lens. So now as far as the center of the eyepiece O is concerned, we have the distant object subtending an angle alpha and the image subtending an angle beta. The next step will be to transfer these angles to the eyes. Now by that I mean that the eyes are closer to the eyepiece than the object or image. The object or image are millions of miles away. Therefore, the distance between the eye and the eyepiece is considered negligible compared to the astronomical distance of the object or the astronomical distance of the image. Therefore, the angle beta is considered to be subtended at the eyes, same as at the eyepiece. The next step is we will do the same logic with the incoming angle alpha from the object. Now, the alpha is now passing through the objective lens as you can see here, the blue ray. Now, if you draw a dotted line parallel to that passing through the eyes and considering that the eyes are so close to the eyepiece that the relative distance with the distant star or planet is too small, then we can consider the angle alpha as being subtended at the eyes. So what we have done is we first shifted all the rays to the eyepiece and then we shifted that to the eyes in a deft movement of logic. Having done that, it becomes simpler to define magnification because magnification is the angle subtended by the final image at the eye divided by the angle subtended by the object at the eye. So therefore we get m is equal to angle beta by angle alpha. Now if you put the sign convention, the beta and alpha angles are on opposite sides of the white line which is the principal axis. Therefore it, m becomes equal to minus modulus of beta by alpha. And this is also equal to minus the focal length of the objective divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. I hope this was clear. Thanks and have a great day.